working now in the third movie, you've worked with three different directors. How have you found that? What have sort of been the, 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 the pluses or the minuses of sort of that change um, each time? Um, I mean, I thought Catherine and Chris were both great and they could have I'd be very happy if they directed all of them afterwards. But um, after experiencing having changed them up every single time, I mean, it's great for me because it feels like you're doing a different movie every time. Even though you are, it would be very easy to become, to think like you're just literally doing a series and it's the same characters uh, going through different events every single time. But I really, having a, having a new director around, it, it does, it helps you grow and stuff. And so I feel like, the characters are the characters are growing and changing, and it's not just going through a new set of events. It feels like every movie is very different. Do you think? Do you take the opportunity to think, God, in New Moon, I really wish you would have been done this, or I made a, would have made these three choices. So now I'm going to make them, or do you just let it go and just start kind of fresh? Kind of. I mean, yeah. I mean, I I definitely was thinking in, in Eclipse. You know, what's the consistency uh, from the previous two. And I was thinking in New Moon as well, how to how to continue it. But also you think how to improve your performance, like you know, how to improve the look of the character and the way the way they move and stuff. Because you never have any opportunities to do that normally. I mean because it is it's always the same cast, so you can kind of you can bring your experience from the last film into the into the new one. It's not a whole it's not an entirely different uh, uh, set of circumstances. And what was it like this time? Obviously, the love triangle in this movie, really, which has you know been there percolating, is so front and center. Um, was it difficult, fun? What, and especially you and Taylor have a lot more scenes together that are different. You sort of have to hate each other, and you're sort of battling for it. To, obviously, now you know each other so well. Did it make those scenes more fun? Were you guys cracking up all the time, or what was that like? Yeah, I mean, it's like for one thing, it was great to to do some scenes with it with uh, with other people. I mean. And not just kind of little tiny scenes. I mean, we're doing big things with each other, me and Taylor. And um, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. I mean, I've always gone on with them really well. And it is it is a lot easier when you like someone to kind of play this, doing all this macho stuff because you could feel really silly. And if Taylor, you know, Taylor is a kind of much big, <laughs> like better built guy than I am. And if he was a complete idiot, then. Uh, you know, you could very easily, it could very easily become an uncomfortable situation with him being like, yeah, I'm so buff, what, what do you have? Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> it would have been incredibly annoying to go to work every day if it was like that. <laughs> um, obviously the tent scene is about everyone talking, was that a tough, uh, a tough scene to do? Was that, a, you know, because it's a very interesting, there's so much emotion happening and sort of... Um, yeah, I mean, it was quite, I mean, um, it was just kind of, and it's such odd staging as well. It's a very strange scene, you know, it's a kind of Bella sleeping there. But I mean, I like what's happened with uh, the relationship which Edward has with Jacob now, because in the first two, it's just this kind of ignorant hate, which is boring to play after a while. It's just, because all it is is just jealousy. If you don't know someone, you can't really hate them. It's just, and uh, and knowing someone, and and them openly admitting, like, I'm, I'm trying to steal your girlfriend, and like, what are you gonna do about it? Try and stop me, and there's nothing he can do to stop him. So it's like, and he doesn't want to be friends, there's nothing else about it that, he's like, I don't like you, and I'm gonna ruin your life. There's nothing you can do about it. And it's true, and he has to completely rely on Bella to, to make up her mind about it. Um, so it's, it's, it's a kind of interesting thing to play now.